Hello, welcome back to Nimi's Garden. We're here in the uh, world map, but we are going to continue with the autumn all. Oh wow, autumnal thicket, where we're going to be beating our 100th level. All right, level four, piling leaves. Ho oh, hop more and move. All right, so if you remember, what hop does is it allows you to cross an object that is stopped. So something like this. It should technically allow me to go over here, but Hedge eats all, so that kills me. Leaf is also push. Alright. Now, Leaf and Foliage is defeat, so that Foliage right there, I cannot pass through. Hmm... Leaf is push. I assume that well because hedge eats all. Uh, doing this just does not want to work. That makes sense. Text on text is weak, so I can't stack anything either. Leaf is more. I can get multiple leaves here. I don't know how that's going to be useful. I can also do Nimi. I can also make Nimi be something. I can make Nimi be more, I assume, but I don't know how that's gonna help. Yeah, I don't see how that's gonna help. Something can also be stopped, which I assume would be like, you know... Hmm... Alright. Okay. Uh, really not seeing what to do right now. What is our final goal? Well, it's just to get past this foliage. But how would I do that? Is it possible to? Is it possible to? Uh, I keep saying is it possible to do something, but I don't know if it is at all. I, I suppose... I suppose... Uh, I suppose I could make Leafy more here. And that's something. And then by being Hop, I can get to the second Foliage, which does kill me. Right. Oh, oh, because Leaf is also Defeat. I see. Well, if I made Leaf is move, yeah, they get out of the way. So, this does still allow me to get to the second foliage. But the problem is that. Well, if I made Leaf is stop, then yes, I do get to the second foliage. Ooh, alright. What if I am um, hop and move, and Leaf is stop? Uh, what I suppose happens is I get to the third foliage because I hop over it and then move one over. Now, something interesting is if I had myself be more as well, maybe I could just eke out a last Nimi over here from this third leaf flop foliage. Doesn't seem to work though. Alright, so this definitely seems to be somewhat useful. It gets me over to the second one. And actually, yeah, I can do this. So that's really interesting. I suppose that's interesting. I can now cross two long gaps. But how do I cross a three long gap is the issue. Right, and I can't stack text, so I can't, you know, make myself hop twice or something. Um... I suppose if I made Leaf continue being more, would that change anything? Would that change anything? No, because then I would die on that Leaf. I don't want that to happen. Hmm. 
Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait, what? How does this get me three across? Why? Why does that get me three across? Wait, is it because all of this is stopped? If I made leaf is more somehow, does that get me through? I feel like... I still don't think this would work. This does get me three across though, that's really interesting. Hmm... I, I don't know what is the difference between this and just having a stop object. Like, um... I assume I move across the object and then I try to move into this object again and then because- Okay, I hop twice basically. This allows me to hop twice. I hop once over and because I move, I move into this object and try to enter its position. But because it is stopped, essentially, I uh, hop activates again. So I hop twice in this case. Interesting. So that might be something I want to use. But that will require me to have exactly three foliage here. Either that or one on each side, which I feel like is a lot less likely to happen. But okay. Maybe then, maybe what I do is I push leave into here. Then I have you be more a certain, a longer period of time, like this. Yes, and now if I make Leaf move, all of these guys are, are pointing downwards. So by making you move once, you guys all- oh, hold on. I need you guys to move out of the way. There you go, this feels okay. Because with three of you, I will jump straight over for some reason. Okay. Sweet. Uh, let me just set this all up as usual, it's gonna take a while. Uh, like this, and then this kills- oh, this does not kill me because- Yeah, so to explain once again, I move and hop over to this uh, to this tile, then Nimi moves again, but because it tries to move to an object that has stopped, that will cause Nimi to hop one more time. So I hop twice basically, to go all the way over. Nice. Okay, that was entirely accidental. Alright, so level 5, hitch hopping. Oh no, oh, 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 the lag. Okay, there is lots of lag. How do I, how do I do this? Text is not move and not hop and not stable, there's so much lag, can I go back? Yeah, because it doesn't make me lag, it's just a level itself for some reason. Alright, I guess we're living with this lag now. Uh, Alright, so we got turning text. We have stable. We have hop. Now, pumpkin is shift down. And hitch is stop and melts Nimi and Fox. So hitch basically kills us. Pumpkin being shift is bad because... Pumpkin will... Hitch hopping. Pumpkin will shift us into the hitch to kill us. As I, unless I can do something else. Alright. Text. Uh, text is... I, I, I believe I want Pumpkin to- I don't know what, what I want Pumpkin to do. Because I can't change Pumpkin at all. And I must some- okay, to get the clue I must somehow push this text all the way over to here, somehow. And because text is not move, I don't see how that is doable at all. I can change the direction of text though. That's somewhat interesting. Uh, I can push fox, yes. I can also be hop, which allows me to get over to here at the very least. Because this is a fall long, I can't get into here... You know... Without additional help.
I mean, okay, you know what I could do? I could do Texas hop. Oh my goodness, the lag. Oh, text is not hop, sorry. Yeah, text can only be... Yeah, text can't even be hop, stable, or move. Her text can only change direction, or be pushed, but... Since text is already pushed, it's kind of useless. I guess I can do text on something is something. But then again, with only text and fox here... I can't make that condition, you know, turn text into anything special. I can do this, and then this causes text to turn upwards. But how is that useful? Uh, how does that do anything? Uh, also, why does stable exist? Why does stable exist? Fox. Not really thinking right now. I, I really still don't see at all how to get through pumpkin. Oh yeah, look at that. Text is text. I can't even change text with anything else. So really the only useful thing text can be is any direction. How is that supposed to do anything? How is that? Yeah, how is that supposed to do anything? It's like... Having text change direction doesn't even change anything, does it? Because text can't be anything else. Like, what? I guess something on text can be something. Then that's how text can be useful. So I can say fox on text is something. Which allows me to sort of, um, you know, set up something so it can be like... I, I can have fox move when I put a text on it. Like that. Or something. But... Um, how does that do anything? Okay. I gotta think about this a lot better. I want to say because text can't be anything itself, it's definitely something on text is something. Just by meta analysis alone, I don't know if that's useful or or you know something I can rely on. But let's try. We can push Fox around. That's fine. I guess Fox can be hop, so we can get Fox to move over. Uh, Fox is Fox, so Fox can't become anything. And in fact, Nimi becoming anything is also bad, so... I still haven't figured out how to use directions. Pumpkin and shift does not, like... Oh, I want to not be hop when this happens. If I am hop, I die, but if I'm not hop, I'm fine. Because, uh, hedge is stop. So maybe what I do is... I can't get text over, but I can... Maybe change something? I could set up something. Uh... Okay. Oh, so, that's, so therefore I want to say Nimi is hop and then somehow break it remotely. Uh, no, please don't move yet. So this happens. Uh, how is that useful? I don't know. Although I, I suppose I can just control fox remotely from here by changing its direction. It feels very, you know, very inelegant because I don't see how, okay, besides being inelegant I also don't see how I can continue doing this anyway. Even if I did control fox from here, how would that help? Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, and also... Maybe what I have to do is to make... For, uh, Nimi be stable and hop and then change something about that. Instead of just making Nimi is hop, right? So what I could do is I could push you to do something like this. And then what I do is I stuff text up this column. So I, I do Nimi is stable and hop, which will make me hop but also stable. So I retain the hop property. Right, and then I have Fox's move to remove the and hop part of the statement. So this gets out the and hop, which is fine, that's good. Am I still hop? Yes, I am hop. So now this makes me hop and nothing else, but the problem is how do I break that? Because text can't do anything but change directions. I guess I can do text on Fox be something. But it's more likely to be fox on text is something though. <gasps> oh yeah, and I can make fox hop, right? Yeah, I can do this. I can, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. So I can make uh, fox on text is change direction. Which would cause te uh, which would cause Fox to turn around and push stuff out instead. Cool, cool. All right, because we have the hop here, we can also make Fox's hop. All right, so let's start by having Fox be pushed. Get the Fox out. I want Fox to face upwards, basically. Actually, I don't think it matters. Oh, it does because I need Fox to be hop. I cannot have it uh, do anything stupid. I cannot have it bounce off this wall, which yes, I count that as doing something stupid. All right, so I want to set up Fox on text is hop sorry fox on text is uh is down because i wanted to change directions and push stable down which breaks me breaks me wow okay uh so we start with fox on text is down uh, if only this thing was any faster It will be way, way smoother to solve. Then I do fox is hop and move over here. And this does kill the fox, unfortunately. But that's okay, because all I need to do is win. Okay, so I do this. Oh, whoops. I just have to <laughs> re. What sentence am I trying to write? Okay, there you go. So what this does is I can cross over. Fox over here will move over. It turns around because Fox on text is down and breaks stable. Now I am no longer hop and I can just make my way over. Nice. That was cool, but how, how in the world will I ever get the uh... uh ooh, 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 oh is that another world? That might be another world. How in the world do I get the uh, clue from that? Alright, I'm just gonna take a look see at to what this is. This is another world. It is Fungal Quarry. Quarry? Quarry? It is world 10. I didn't expect that to be 10 worlds. Alright, let's go back to level 5. We're gonna try to get the... This thing over here. Obviously, lag is still abundant, as expected. How do I get anything down here? I suppose I could I suppose I could get you to this square This this square right before it You have to do something else though <gasps> Oh never mind No because if you are move and hop If you are move and hop You actually move a lot You move 3 in fact And because this is a 4 wide A 4, a four gap If I push you in Oh no, you still move 3, because pushing you in counts as one step. And then you move another 2 steps, and then you die. So... I might have to change something, but... The general idea is to do this. Then to set up Fox is move and hop here. 
Oh, uh, Fox is hop and move, I guess. And then to push it down. Oh, but I need another Fox text down here at all, so that doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. Okay. Once I get Fox here, I can just control it to push stuff in, so it should be fine. I just need to get Fox in there at all. Either that or I somehow need to get in there. Does that involve using stable somehow? Yeah, I think it might. Yeah, I think it might. It does the exact same thing I do, so that both me and Fox can be hopped. Okay. So I'm gonna set up the fox to stand here. Uh, yeah, that works. Now I will be. Oh my goodness, the lag. I will be stable and hop. And so if I'm hop and I push fox and foxes hop and foxes move, it will all work out. Actually, maybe it won't? I don't know actually. Maybe, maybe it won't, but we can try. Okay. So Fox's move gets everything out. Now I am hop and that's fine. So this should kill me. It does. Uh, I can push Fox. That's fine as well. In fact, I want to have Fox move one more just to get it out. Now what I want to do is, I want to set up so that uh, Fox will... Uh, what will Fox do? It's like... Because Fox is push, it's very hard to control me. I can't, I can't get behind Fox as it moves, right? Because I'm always going to be pushing it. Unless I make the statement Oh, unless I let Fox walk over me, which that, that that should be fine, right? So I start by having Fox be moved first. Now, oh, I don't set it up to be hop yet. I wait for it to bounce back and then I set you up. Now I wait here. Oh, okay, that's also really bad because I want you to be in this specific column. I can set you up. I need to wait for the U to bounce back to be hop first. I can wait here. Why is my push down now? No, it's still not far enough. Hmm. I mean obviously it wouldn't be fast enough. Because I'm not I'm not the one doing the hopping, right? Yeah. Because just none of this works. And this doesn't work. I wouldn't expect it to work anyway. Okay. Then what? Something over here... To get here... Me being move and hop just gets me 3 across. How do I get 4 across? Uh, can I stack tech somehow? I think I might be able to stack tech somehow. Uh, the, the one thing is I think that's cheese. So this kills me, obviously. I think that's cheese, but I think I could set it up so that me and Fox are both move. And therefore we both, uh, we both stack text. There is nothing that doesn't say text can be on text. So, maybe. So what I do is I set it up so that, uh, okay, I set it up so that 
It's the same idea of me being stable in something. Alright. But this is gonna be really janky because um hold on. I need to face up. Honestly I don't need to use the face any direction. Oh, but once I do this, how do I make Fox move? I cannot. So I can't stabilize myself to be moved forever because Fox doesn't want to be moved for me. Oh. I mean, I suppose... If I am like... No, I don't think this works, yeah. I don't think this works. Okay, then what? How do I get something over here? Um, it's like, what if... What if... What if, what if I am push? So what happens here is Fox. If if I stable if if I am stable and move No, cuz how would that work? If I'm stable and move, I get to the third cell. The third cell? I get one before the actual end, right? I could then have Fox somehow push me over. But I would also need Fox to then be move and hop. Which is really tough. I can also be single hop. And then push... You know, by pushing down push fox over although like I, did, I thought I tried that just now and I don't think it worked out where else does this make any sense nowhere I don't see anywhere else besides this singular column where I could do anything practical at all right I mean, if Fox is moving in a certain direction, I'm pretty sure it moves. Uh, I'm pretty sure it just keeps moving in that direction, even though it gets bounced off. Maybe that's useful. Maybe. It keeps. It keeps. It keeps going back and forth on those two cells. I mean, I could always have. I could always just make Fox move in time myself. So, no, I don't think that works. I don't think that makes any sense at all. I mean, Fox is moving stable. Maybe I could still. Maybe I could stack text this way. Uh, this would be very weird and also wouldn't make any sense. But maybe you know, maybe just maybe. Don't really break stable. Maybe just maybe it works. Because I could make myself move and then set up set it up so I can. Stack text with Fox. Right. What 
What what do I, what would I need to stack? I don't know what I would need to stack, but I could like stack two random things, so it's fine. So that stacks something. Doesn't make any sense why I would do that. Cause now I'm st I'm stuck to move forever. Uh Whoa, wrong button. I meant to you know, meant to retry. I got okay. I love that I love that the game lags whenever I idle. That's also quite funny. It doesn't lag when I'm doing nothing. But it likes when I idle when I move. Okay, speaking of move, what 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 do I do with this? Like how how in how do I get there in any way? I need to jump four. Jump four. Jump four. I don't see it. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Uh, you know, go grab another level first, like word heist, whatever this is. Okay, no like this time. This is way way better. Ugh. Okay, skull is one way. So, oh wow, hedge is stop and sink and safe. Okay, so skull is one way. So how do I get past that? I need to get past it like twice. How, how to stop even... This gets me over but like I can't do anything after this, right? Cause, yeah. Cause text needs to be hop as well. How does having stop text do anything? Well, it's yeah, it's interesting because I can't have two things be hop at once. So how do I get the stop text? Well, I mean, because of this, I can just walk through and walk out like that. And I guess uh, I was gonna make skull is shift down, but no. I do this. I mean, that could happen. I could get out, which is really funny. I mean, uh, I mean, if text is shift down, that's actually really interesting. Cause text, yeah, skull isn't still, but obviously this still doesn't help me. Yeah, still kills me. What does stop do? Why does stop do anything? Why does stop give us stuff? Yeah, there's just so many things that I assume cannot be done here. Like, if text is hot, I can get text over. In fact, yeah, if text is hop, I can get some text over, like as much text as I want, and I could just hop over myself, like that, which doesn't push the thing, but eh. I mean, that might work, I just don't know. How this? Yeah, I don't know how any of this works. I don't know why you need stop. I know that this can happen. 
but I mean I guess I guess something I could do is I could I could have fungus convert Nimi is hop into Texas hop. So something I could do is something that looked like uh something that looked like Jeez, how do I wanna set this up? How do I want to set this up indeed? I want to make fungus is push. I want to have it set up so that I can do something like this. Wait, what? No. Actually, I can push it out of the corner, it's fine. Because I, I can do Nimi and shift down and then that works. Uh, so. So I push Tex and Nimi up in the corner here. Fungus is pushed, so I can't do that. But I can do this. I can set it up so that Nimi is hop first. Uh, I want to set Fungus up here. So, so then what I can do is by moving over to the left, I can hop over, and then Tex can hop over. So I can push Tex down, and I can leave through here because Skull is one way. And then I can make fungus is shift down to get everything out. So this gets everything out. This also gets the stop. Actually, the stop I can just get like this. And then I can be shift down to get the fungus out. So this this lets us obtain a single stop text, and that's cool. But how does the stop text help at all? Is it buffer? Is it buffer? Maybe it is, because I, I can do the uh, I can't do the exact same thing, see? Because the first thing I did allowed me to walk out through here. Right. This win, once I'm in here, I can only either get out by being stop. No not by being stop. I can only get out by being hop. Or, I win in this area. Another thing is, I want to have text come out. Either that or I want... Well, I can't have text be hot. The only issue is, how do I get the is text in then? I can get most things to go through, I can get Nimi text to go through. How do I get is text to go through? I mean, I think this kills everything, yeah. It kills stuff. And it's like, once I do that, I can't make anything else happen, so... No. Unless... Unless... Unless stop is used for that reason. No, because... Doing this only lets me push text into the... Into the... You know into this area which oh yeah that yeah stop right because I can push the text so stop actually flies over and not the is text uh okay I guess fungus can try and do something I can set up a very similar thing going on but I don't think I can ever set up an alternator where it's like it alternates between Nimi and text being hop because it's always downward shifting Fungus is also fungus. Should I get... Should I get... So what if fungus is stop lets me get through stuff, right? But... Why, why is that useful? I don't want... I don't want that. Do I? Do I want that? Ah, I don't know. I can't get text onto the hitch at all because it dies. I can't get myself into the hitch because it dies. F 
fungus is shift. Is it a similar setup where I have... Uh, oh... Mm, no, I don't think so. It could be a similar setup to what I have here. It could. But I think that wouldn't make much of a difference, right? In fact, I need to be up here for this to happen at all anyway. So it's like... So it's like... Yeah, the same trick doesn't work here. I can, however, just be infinitely hop. So as we get over here and all, all the way back and I can go in loops. Then I can also go up here, but that doesn't change anything because now I'm dead. And then even if I made text is hop, right? The only way to win is by like pushing you through, you through, and then you can't, you definitely can't make anything be win here. Do I somehow need to say something is? Do I need to push is up? I, I'm, I'm sure I do. Ooh, hold on. Oh, it's a downward shift. I'm like, hold on. Because, like, look at this. There you go, it actually does get moved over. So if I could have this fungus shifting upwards, I could try to get some is text over, but I can't because... Uh... Because... You know, uh, shift is downwards. Now, what I could do is I could shift Nimi, I could hop Nimi over to here, or hop Nimi text over to here. Find some way to hop. Oh, but now Nimi can't be hop once Nimi text is up there. Okay. I could also, I could also actually do something like this. Right? Then shift Nimi text here and then is text here and I just win. But. Once again, how do I get Nimi to shift upwards? Question. If fungus is shift down, does Nimi hop over it? I would assume not. Yeah. What if I push something against it? Does it count as... No, it does not. See, I can do I can do text as hop to get Nimi up there first, and then somehow get is text over. That's the hard part. How do I get is text over? Ooh. Hmm. Because I can't make a statement that is three long here. That's the issue. It's like, what? Hmm, this could be very jank, but what if I try, you know, something stupid? Like, why would this work? It's just... Oh! Whoa, what is that? Wait, no, because Texas hop, this pushes it over. So yeah, this makes sense. I guess, I guess it does make sense. And I think I guess I could do is I could stack text this way. Hmm, I could stack text this way. Why would I need to stack text? I don't know, but if I had it vertically here, it also wouldn't work because uh, the text that is being hit upwards was, you know, in this row. But, you know, that, that was cool. Ah, okay. I mean, like, this really just does it. Does it even do anything bad? It's like... It's like this... Doesn't do anything. 
Ah, uh, am I getting the right idea? I don't think I am getting the right idea. Even though the the freedom to move win over is very interesting. I I I, I assume you have to make Nimi's win like this, but the problem is I don't know how. I don't know how to move any piece of text up here at all. So most 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 likely what I do is to move win down. But that require me to be hop. Then for the text to be hop, then for me to be hop again. And I don't think I can make an oscillator like that. And then we also have this stop text, which... Uh, what do I use that for? It's not buffer text, because... Something has to be hop. Uh, okay. If I made fungus is stop in a certain spot... Like if I made it stop here, you would just stand, you would just cause an object to move over to here. Is that useful? Well, text being, well, okay, well, well, yeah, you see, because you you being stopped here actually gives us a very easy way to stack text. <gasps> Which is exactly what we need. Oh my goodness, that is all we need. In fact, we just need to stack fungus and text together. Yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna push Fungus over to here first. I was like, how do I make an oscillator between Nimi and Text? I just completely did not figure out that you can stack that like that. Ah, and now... There you go, I can just get all this over. Uh, well, another thing I could do is I could just... Have Fungus be push... To be... On this certain tile. I have it be shift down. Okay, there you go. There you go. Oh, that was definitely a level. I liked it though, that was a very interesting little trick. Okay, well that was all six levels done. I think I am done for this session. Uh, we definitely did not get the clue here, so I'm really hoping to get that soon. Uh, but yes, we solved another three levels today. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.